Hey, sneaking us back tonight, and tonight we've got Xpod 0.9.2, based on Ubuntu, and it's basically for little netbooks and stuff like that. 64 meg download, but it's got all you not all you really need for the web, really. Wi-Fi setup, power off. That's on your home screen. We we'll go to menu. You have got Firefox as your web browser. A terminal emulator. Name is your media player. So you don't have to go online to do anything if you don't want to. You've got straight ads for Facebook, Google Calendar, Mebo and YouTube. Even better. File. We'll go to File. Now I'm actually coming up to Live CD here. I've not installed it yet, but we'll get to that a bit later. There's all the file systems. And we'll go to Settings. We have Language, Time, Backup, App Gets, Wi-Fi, Display and Set Up Wire Connection. Now it's already connect straight away if you've got a wire connection, so that's even better. Now, we're going to go to opt get. Wait for it to open a bit. Now here, you can get extra stuff, even better. So you can get extra drivers, codecs, Skype, open office even, and other extra apps, including Transmission and Genie, and GPIC View, even better. On the codec side, you get the W32 codex and your DVD codex, as you can see there, sort of libdvd CSS, even better. Dropbox, I've not actually gone into yet, because I've not installed it. Skype, you're really going to need, it's great. Uh, whether you want open office is up to you, but if you want to do stuff offline, you must have it. Got to be done, got to be done. Super. Lovely. Why would you want Google OS? It's already here in XPUD. So if you were to add it installed, you'd go to choose an application, and you would install whatever you wanted to there anyway. We'll go back to file, or no, you won't go back to file. Dropbox, I'm going to look at Dropbox, mate, and see what that is. We'll go back to menu, and what we'll do, we'll open up the Fox. Opens up the there's no bookmark page, so you just type in what you want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the XPUD page. Doesn't take too long to load at all. Live CD, remember. Tells you all about it, and what you can do with it. Even better. Super. Now let's go down here a bit. Uh, new features. How to install. So we'll go to how to install. Right, if you've got Windows XP Vista or 7, now it's still in testing, so use at your own risk. It will actually do it for you. So that's nice and cool, don't you think? Use at your own risk? Mm, maybe not. So don't do it straight away if you're not sure. There is no native installer for Linux. So please, Pink, can you get that done for us? So we have a native installer and something done nice and quick. Please. Pretty please, even. But you can do it manually if you really want to. USB. You can install it to a USB straight away. Just full the instructions on the site. No problem. Super duper. Then we'll go up to Google. We'll check in the BBC. See how nice that page comes up. Go to their home page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Looks beautiful, actually. It really does look nice. I'll, I did say before, I do like the way it's set out and the actual thing. And if you, if you really want Google Chrome OS, I don't really see the point because you've already got an XPUD, really, haven't you? So just download this and use this because the other one ain't going to be that much different. Now, if you see there, it's got a little exclamation mark. That means the web browser is still running. So if we say go to the Facebook app, it opens it directly, straight away like that. And you just put in your email and your password, and you'll be connected straight away and do all your stuff that you ever wanted to do on Facebook, even. So anyway, page curls a nice little thing up here. Look, you just go up to the corner, page curls down, you click the X, and it goes. Mebo for your instant messaging. Lovely. Uh, really nice with a different one. But, I mean, it's going to be for web-based web, web -based apps, should I say. And you can connect to most things here. So everything's really catered for, don't you think? Nice, nice, nice. Page curl again. I like that little bit when it does that. When the page curls. We'll go to YouTube for the simple reason we want to see if Flash is installed. Now, you know my little thing about this, but I'm going to forget it tonight because it's XPUD, and I like it. So, does it play Vidvos? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plays them perfectly, really. Now, there's no audio for you for legal reasons, etc., etc. Plays nice, really. Can't really fault it. So, if you've got a netbook and you want a decent thing to put on it, a decent OS, this is the one for you, XPad, really. I've not tried it on the really small ones, but I'm going to give it a go over the next couple of days and see how it works out. I'll open Google Calendar. Obviously, I think Mr. Pink will be putting other Google apps on here, like 
Google Mail and Google Docs, etc., etc., that only be a, wouldn't actually take up much room on the ISO, so even better, really. As you can see, still nice there, look. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's undo that. Where should we go? Just to do a little more testing. Or should we go anywhere, even? I don't know. Uh, a distro watch will go, if I could spell it right. Just type in distro watch. We'll go straight to the page. If you like distros, this is the place for you. Scroll down. Comes out really, really nice. Super duper. I like it. Right. Xpad is the way to go, really. If you're waiting for Chrome OS, don't bother. Just go to pink. Get Xpad. You've got it already. Nice, nice, nice. Sneaky Linux out.